two seconds, yeah. it shows you where the sport is going. I think this is what we have to do. So right now we see the girls as faster and faster. They are really closing. We are really closing. <laughs> Change over time. Thank you so much. So we've just seen the fastest ever, ever time in the C1 500 event. It's the K2 500 meters and there's no one knows more about this in the Young world. guys uh, from Germany that's uh, from my club, so it's especially for me to see them right now. Um, I hope they really have a good start and then they can get really good at the end. The Hungarian Hungarians obviously concentrating on <laughs> Athens oh. final. Do you still remember that? Yeah, I still remember that. It was a good time. So um, I think the world best is uh, 26 actually from Serbia. So interesting if they can beat it today. The French guys are pretty good as well. So I have a good friend with uh, Jouvet in front. So I raced uh, against him the K1 a lot of years in the K1 500. Where you see Germans going out quickly. And there are there number five, it's Ukraine. It is uh, Igor Trunov, who had two goals and a silver last weekend in the Montemore World Cup with Ivan Smegin. They had a, they cleared up last weekend. I guess there's no, not so much depth of field as this weekend, but they're still looking very, very impressive here. It looked like a really quick 250. Oh, well, one boat has taken a whole length out of the others and they are in your picture now. Tunov in the back of your boat, he came second in the K1 200 last weekend. Oh, he looks strong in the back. <laughs> he is very big, very strong. Lane number seven, Guillaume Lefloy, Chicochemont, Sebastian Juve, he was actually sailing last weekend, so he knows how to handle the wind. Coming into the last 150 meters, and can anyone catch Ukraine? The French are flying in the last few hundred meters. It looks like they have a motor on their boat. French lane seven are going to take a victory from Ukraine. Well, that's how to time your finish. If they won. If they won. Well, they did a Kenny Wallace in the last 50 meters. The French are going to be switching their teams around a lot in the next uh, next few months, just trying to find uh, some sort of rhythm, some sort of pace for the World Championship, where quite a few of the athletes are standing just the other side of the, the tower. They have lovely, comfortable chairs, and also they have quite a big screen with the speaker who is giving us Hungarian English commentary. But the Ukrainians took it out very quickly, and then the French, they are still a long way back with 200 meters to go. They can see that uh, the 500 is not just speeding up, it's a lot of tactic. And the French guys did it pretty well, this race, so... And you can be proud of your compatriots? Yeah, they are good. They are quite young, so it was the first international K2 race for him, for them. And uh, I think they could be happy with that result. Well, four boats within a couple of meters, but the French timed their last few meters to perfection. Juve's been around for a long, long time. Very, very good in K2 200. I think he won the, won the Worlds a couple of times, including uh, 2011 here with Anna Umbwa, who's actually uh, uh, he's, he's retired now. 128.125, second and a half off the world record. France take the gold, Hungary take the silver, and Ukraine take the bronze medal. So we saw in the C1 500 a new world time best by two seconds. Here they're about one and a half second off uh, Piotrchenko and Magnum, who in 2000.